guys, it's me here again, and today, as you can probably tell by the title, as always, I don't do the title, so it might be something different. But I'm here with a Lego Howitzer review from World War Two. Yeah, uh, as you can see, it may look a bit ugly because the main because it's kind of camouflage there. So some angles, you can build it yourself. It's pretty easy. I'll disassemble it later in a minute. And uh, show you different parts. This is the view underneath as well. Um, on top. Yeah, as you can tell, it's not that stable, but I guess it'll do. So, here's a look at the these sections. Yeah, the other side is just the same, but mirrored. Like your hands. Pretty simple. Yeah, there you go. These two wheels as uh, well. I got them from a book with, do you know those, um, like, books with pieces in them? And sets of sort of, like, s small ones, and they tell you, like, three different ways of doing them. Yeah, well, I got one of them that had uh, four of these wheels. So, yeah. Uh, here you can have a look at the main section. It's just, uh, two by two there, uh, one, one by two soaking brick, one by one with a hole there. I don't know if you can see that because it's in black. Uh, yeah, top details, pretty much it. Yes, sir. And here it's a one by two slope, and then a jump play, uh, one by one with like a hole in it, and a place where you can insert some in the back, so it covers it up. This one, you can use a square stone if you want. I don't care. Uh, obviously, it's pretty easy to build, so I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this. Uh, two of these ones with a hole, and then a Technic pin connector in there. And then this part of it is stuck on it. So, uh, all connects with a 1x4 back piece down here. It's a bit hard to see because of the one brick. With like, with that 1x2 with two studs on it, like that. And then on the bottom we have a 1x2 with a 1x2 plate. Then this wheel piece um, underneath is the back piece. So you can see that. But and then this sort of like tile piece has studs on the bottom. Very unique piece. I like to use it a lot for tiling underneath. So that's pretty much a look at it. Uh, now for the posability. So as you can see, it can pose downwards, obviously, because these wheels. Uh, you can move the lever around, uh, you know. You can make it go tank soon, but I don't see why you'd want to do that. Um, yeah, and then you have these things that stabilise it from the chute, and then you can post those in all sorts of ways, like that, and that, and then shift these up further. It has to do. That's basically it. So, I guess I'll see you in the next video. I know I haven't been uploading lately, but I haven't been motivated, but now I understand that you want more videos. So, yeah. So, bye, and see you next time.